derive an expression for EMF of the following cell. Platinum is in contact with hydrogen gas at one atmospheric pressure which is in contact with HCl solution of activity A1. This whole electrode is in contact with another HCl solution of activity A2 which is in contact with the hydrogen gas at one atmospheric pressure and for the electrical contact there is platinum wire. Here A2 is greater than A1. It is the example of electrolyte concentration cell with transference common to cations or reversible with respect to cations. In such type of cell, the transfer of material takes place from one half cell to another half cell. The electrode reactions are at left hand electrode, half of hydrogen gas is converted into H plus ions of activity A1 plus electron is liberated that is oxidation reaction and at right hand electrode H plus ions of activity A2 is combining with electrons and they are producing half of the hydrogen gas. This is reduction reaction. So the net electrode reaction is hydrogen ions of activity A2 are converted into hydrogen ions of activity of A1. This is equation number 1. When the electron flows from left hand electrode to right hand electrode, the electrons are accepted. Then electricity flows from right hand side to left hand side through electrolyte that is T minus gram equivalent of chloride ions of activity A2 will be transferred to chloride ions of activity A1 and to balance this T plus gram equivalent of H plus ions of activity A1 will be transferred from left hand electrode to right hand electrode. In such transportation we can write T minus grams equivalent of chloride ions are transferred from activity A2 to activity of A1. This is equation number 2. Similarly, T plus gram equivalent of H plus ions from activity A1 is transferred into activity A2. This is equation number 3. Now, the net cell reaction will be combination of all the three equations. H plus ions of activity A2 plus T minus gram equivalent of chloride ions of activity A2 plus T plus gram equivalent of H plus ions of activity A1 are transferred to H plus of activity A1 plus T minus gram equivalent of chloride ions of activity A1 and T plus gram equivalent of hydrogen ions of activity A2. But as the cell is common to cations, therefore final expression must be in terms of transport number of anions. As we know, the combination of T plus and T minus is 1. Therefore, T plus is equals to 1 minus T minus. Let's put this value in above equation. Equation becomes H plus activity of A2 plus T minus gram equivalent of chloride ions of activity A2 plus 1 minus T minus gram equivalent of H plus ions of activity A1 gives H plus ions of activity A1 plus T minus gram equivalent of chloride ions of activity A1 plus 1 minus T minus gram equivalent of H plus ions of activity A2. Now let's simplify this and open the bracket. H plus ions of activity A2 plus T minus gram equivalent of chloride ions of activity A2 plus H plus ions of activity A1 minus T minus gram equivalent of H plus ions of activity A1 gives H plus activity of A1 plus T minus gram equivalent of chloride ions of activity A1 plus H plus ions of activity A2 minus T minus gram equivalent of H plus ions of activity A2. Now we can cancel H plus ions of activity A1 and A2 from both the sides. So we get T minus gram equivalent of chloride ions of activity A2 minus T minus grams equivalent of H plus ions of activity A1 gives T minus grams equivalent of chloride ions of activity A1 minus T minus grams equivalent of H plus ions of activity A2. Let's rearrange this equation to get all the activity of A2 in one side and activity of A1 on the other side. So we get T minus gram equivalent of H plus ions of activity A2 plus T minus grams of chloride ions of activity A2 gives T minus grams of H plus ions of activity A1 plus T minus gram equivalent of chloride ions of activity A1. So we can combine H plus and Cl minus to make HCl. So the final equation becomes T minus gram equivalent of HCl of activity A2 is converted into T minus grams of HCl of activity A1. This is equation number 4. 
This means T minus gram equivalent of HCl of activity A2 is transferred to T minus gram equivalent of HCl of activity A1. On applying the law of mass action to equation 4, we get K is equals to concentration of HCl of activity A1 power to T minus divided by concentration of HCl of activity A2 power to T minus. So we can replace the concentration with the activity and we get A1 divided by A2 power to T minus. But EMF of the cell with transference ET is given by ET is equals to E0 of the cell minus RT by NF ln K. Because both electrodes are hydrogen electrodes, therefore E0 cell will be 0. The equation becomes ET is equals to 0 minus RT by NF ln. Let's put the value of K from the above equation A1 by A2 power to T minus, which is equals to minus T minus RT by NF ln of A1 by A2. On simplifying, we get T minus RT by NF ln of A2 by A1, which is equation number 5. Equation 5 is the expression which gives EMF of the cell with transference in terms of activity of electrolyte. Similarly, ET can also be calculated in terms of molality M and activity coefficient gamma. For uni-univalent electrolyte, X is 1 and Y is equals to 1. So the activity A is equals to M square gamma square. So for this first solution, activity A1 is equals to M1 square gamma 1 square. And for the second solution, A2 is equals to M2 square gamma 2 square. Therefore, A2 by A1 is equals to M2 gamma 2 divided by M1 gamma 1 power to 2. On putting this in equation number 5, we get ET is equals to T minus RT by NF ln M2 gamma 2 divided by M1 gamma 1 power to 2. Therefore, ET is equals to 2 times T minus RT by NF ln of M2 gamma 2 divided by M1 gamma 1. This is the final expression for EMF of the cell in terms of molality and activity coefficient.